Madam Speaker. Uh, now my co-lead, I'm pleased to introduce Congressman Mike Turner. Thank you, Jackie. Um, thank you for your passion on this incredibly important issue. Today we do what all of America calls for and wants. This is a bipartisan press conference, bicameral press conference, on a bipartisan and bicameral solution uh, to a tragedy uh, that we see all too frequently uh, in our military that affects our men and women in uniform. It's not about one of us, it's about all of us because this, these are the voices throughout the Senate and the House that have come together to be able to support a piece of legislation that responds to both the concerns and the needs of addressing the very violent crime, which is one of the most horrible uh, violations of human rights of sexual assault. I want to congratulate Senator Gildebrand, who's been the convener. Uh, Senator Gildebrand has listened. Uh, she has done what everybody asks for in Washington, and that is someone who will sit down, listen to each and every person who has had um, this as their cause and has worked on this issue, addressed the concerns uh, that were echoed throughout the House and the Senate, to bring forth a piece of legislation that both technically addresses the issue that is so technically important because it's, it's talking about the military justice system but also rising to the level of understanding the human impact, the human concerns of what happens to our men and women in uniform as a result of sexual assault. <clears throat> when we have a system that fails victims, everyone is failed because everyone is a potential victim. When everyone goes to work every day and believes that they are in a system that could permit them to be a victim of sexual assault and not be responsive, we have failed them. In my own community, just prior to 2007, Maria Lauterbach, a Marine, <clears throat> was sexually assaulted on base. She reported it to her commanders and requested a transfer. Her transfer was denied. Um, she uh, subsequently reported a pregnancy from that rape. Uh, the commanders decided to inform the accused and to tell him that upon the birth of the child, they would do a DNA test and determining the outcomes of that, they would then go forward to prosecute. In her eight month of pregnancy, he murdered her and burned her in his backyard. When he left, <clears throat> when he fled, the Marines called a press conference and they said, today we lost two good Marines. They lost a murderer and a good Marine. Today I dedicate <clears throat> my commitment to this bill to Maria Lauterbach. <clears throat> 